Hey, I'm Craig. Uh, welcome to my songwriting journey. What I'd like to do in this video is explore some of the insights that I've gained over the many years that I've been writing songs. And it's not so much about technique, but it's about the kind of underlying attitude and um, heart towards songwriting and how we can kind of tune into that internal radio station where these songs keep coming from and be in a better place to actually write songs. I hope you find some of it helpful. I hope you find some of it allows you to take that next step in your songwriting. So let's get on with it. Everything starts with an idea, and that may seem pretty obvious, but things don't just happen when you sit down and start trying to write a song. I've tried to pluck ideas out of thin air and it doesn't really work that way. There has to be a moment of inspiration, a question, something that somebody said that's playing around in your mind. Being aware of what's going on around you, the world that you're living in, and taking notice of things. Having a curious mind. A lot of the songs that I write are about things that are going on in my life that I've tried to frame in a kind of a poetic way through a song. In 1964, Paul Simon was sitting in a railway station somewhere in England, waiting for a train. He began to scribble down some lines on a piece of paper that would become the hit song, Homeward Bound. Now, I'm sure that Paul Simon used to carry around pencil and paper wherever he went, because he was someone that knew that inspiration can come at any time, and he has to capture that. He has to be prepared to make a note of it when it comes along and not trust to memory. He didn't write the whole song there and then in that railway station, but he was ready to get a few lines of inspiration and take it from there. Most of my songs are born out of one or two lines that I've just recorded into my phone as I've been out for a walk or driving in the car, something like that. When the inspiration comes, it's really, really important to just capture it even if it's just a couple of lines, even if it's just a tune that you feel like you want to work with. So, you know, we've all got mobile phones these days, there's no excuse, but also have a, a notepad that you carry around with you just to get those ideas down. Be prepared to capture those ideas when they come to you and don't trust to memory. There's no right way to write a song and each song has a kind of life of its own. Some ideas that you have will never go anywhere. Some ideas will just be like a mile marker on the journey that you can look back and see how far you've come. The worst thing you can do is never try because you're afraid of making mistakes or getting it wrong. But nobody ever, ever, ever gets it right first time. Think of mistakes as part of the learning process and you'll actually begin to make progress. The hurdle that we all have to get over is that the more that you try, the more likely it is that you are actually going to make some mistakes. But then the more you try, the more likely it is that you are going to get something to work. Something's going to stick. Something is going to break through. When we start to look at mistakes as simply those stepping stones on the journey that are taking us forward, then everything falls into place. Songwriting is art, and art is creative expression, which means there's no wrong way, basically. And when we begin to create, we enter into this magical experience that's been going on since day one of the universe. When you think about it, the universe is constantly expanding. It's turning possibility into reality. When we're writing songs, we're pulling ideas out of this myriad of possibilities and turning them into something tangible. When we create, we're truly in line with the forward momentum of the universe. There is a kind of artistic, creative energy there that we can draw on. Call it God, call it the universe, call it the force, it doesn't really matter. It's something there that's just beyond our normal realm, our normal way of looking at things. And it's something that can help us in our creative journey. The other thing to remember about art, of course, is that it's subjective. So that means that some people are going to like what you do, some people aren't. 
and at the end of the day it doesn't really matter.